Hope. So I believe we got one chicken or a couple of chickens that are eating our eggs. That's kind of my fault. I'm only able to get and empty out the nest box once a day around five o'clock. So what I'm gonna do is I just went ahead and I ordered some ceramic nest eggs. These are used to encourage the chickens to lay in your nest box. I didn't get them for that reason. They're already doing that. They are ceramic, so they're hard. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna leave them in the nest box. So now, if a chicken decides, she sees an egg and decides she wants to eat it, she's gonna hit this with her beak. It's gonna be kinda hard. It's not gonna hurt, but it's probably gonna shock her. So hopefully by having these, this will deter them from eating the regular eggs. I'll give you guys an update and let you know how well it works. Chickens are doing well. We still have the two roosters in here. They get together great. They were raised together and they, they do great in here. We, ne we haven't had an issue with them competing with each other. Um, I feed my chickens the same way we feed the pigs. I feed them twice a day. I move their chicken tractor in the morning, get them to fresh grass, feed them once. They eat it up pretty fast all day long and I get to munch, munch on fresh grass and fresh bugs. When I come home from work, move the chicken tractor again, feed them again. As you can see, they go into town eating the grain. They'll have this gone in probably 10, 15 minutes and they got the rest of the night to eat grass and bugs. Their eggs have been very tasty because of this. So. You guys see the turkeys fighting over the apple? So as with this gang of poultry too, I do the same thing. Move them first thing in the morning, feed them. So then they're on fresh grass all day long after they eat their grain. Get home from work around five, move them again. They're on a fresh area, no smell. I don't know if anybody's raised turkeys before. Turkey poop stinks. So it's nice to be able to move them twice a day, get them away from that smell. Give them grain, they eat the grain within said 15 minutes to a half an hour. They got all day and all night to eat green grass and bugs. So I'm looking forward to maybe having some 25 pound turkeys when they're all dressed out for Thanksgiving and Christmas this year. So one nice thing about having the portable chicken tractors is right here behind me you got an apple tree. It smells wonderful, it smells like fall is in the air. You got the smell of kind of like apple cider going on. So one of the cool things about moving the chicken tractors, I'll show you. You guys can see it. This area right here is loaded with apples. Instead of this guy having to go pick them up, probably starting tomorrow, I'll just drag the chicken tractor right along here. And these turkeys are gonna be getting ducks and chickens are gonna be getting some nice apples. I don't have to clean it up, they do. Win, win. All right guys, time to do. We'll do the big fat final weighing of the pigs before they go to the butcher this Saturday morning. Let's see how accurate this is. So we got 49 for the girth measurement. And 53. 50. And 49. Let's go ahead and figure that out and see what their weight is. So this pig right here supposedly weighs 318 pounds. I know when I get the meat back 
and they let me know what all the weight was. So this one's 318, which is patches. Waddles. So this pig right here, going by the way they tell you to do the live measurement, weighs 300, and the other one weighs 318 pounds. Come Saturday morning, we'll be loading these girls up on the trailer and bringing them down to the butcher shop. We're very thankful to the pigs for the awesome meat they're gonna supply us with. And we're also very thankful for all the nice hard work they've done for us. You guys give you a little panoramic view. They've gone to town clearing this out for us. I'm just gonna have to come in here with my weed whacker, clear up some of this brush, and then put the York rake on my tractor and just lightly feather it. And then next year, I'll be able to come in here and pick out all the apples from the apple tree. <laughs> So thank you, girl. You've been a hard worker. Yes, you have. Thank you. So thanks, guys, for watching. If you have any questions or comments on the pigs or the chickens over here, leave them in the, down below in the comments. We'll be taking you along when we bring the pigs to get butchered. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and share it. It really helps the channel out. We'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres.